Hi everybody, we're now going to look at how we calculate the value of the multiplier and then what its effect is and how we calculate that. The formula for the multiplier is k, that's a lowercase little k, equals 1 divided by the marginal propensity to withdraw. I'm going to explain a bit about this and then we're going to go through three examples. I suggest that what you do now is you try and answer these questions. You need to try and find out what the value of the multiplier is and then what its effect is. But you might want to listen first to what I'm going to say about this. So just to break this formula down, so we know that k is the multiplier, that's shorthand for it. The marginal propensity to withdraw, you'll remember that that can be expressed in different ways. We know first of all that the marginal propensity to withdraw equals the marginal propensity to tax plus the marginal propensity to save, plus the marginal propensity to import, because those are the three types of withdrawal. So that's one fact about this. The other thing that you can say about the marginal propensity to withdraw is that it's the change in withdrawals divided by the change in income. So that's another way of expressing this. Also, we know that the marginal propensity to withdraw plus the marginal propensity to consume is equal to 1. And therefore, we could also say that the marginal propensity to withdraw equals 1 minus the marginal propensity to consume. You might want to look through all of these just to refresh your memory and work out why they are as I've written. And then you can go on to the three examples. So the first one is if they tell you that the marginal propensity to withdraw is 0 0.2 and there's been government spending of £100. So what's the size of the multiplier and what effect does it have on the economy? So the first thing to do here is to look at your formula. We know that the multiplier, if we need to calculate it here, is 1 divided by the marginal propensity to withdraw. And they've told you what the marginal propensity to withdraw is, so this is quite straightforward. It's just 1 divided by 0 0.2, and that means that the multiplier value is 5. Then we need to find out what's the impact on the economy of this. So we know that £100 went in as an injection, the government spending, and we want to know what did it end up doing to the economy, what happened to national income overall. We need to do the £100 multiplied by 5. So the final impact on the national income is £500 because £100 was injected, the multiplier was 5, the final impact is £500. The next one, this is a bit different, this is telling us the marginal propensity to tax, save and import, so the three withdrawals, and it's telling us that there's an investment of £200, so that's the injection into the economy. So for this one, we're going to have to work out first of all, because we know that K equals 1 over the marginal propensity to withdraw, and we know that these three are all of the withdrawals. So we know that the marginal propensity to withdraw is equal to 0 0.02 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1. And we know then that that is equal to 0 0.42. And then you just put that into the formula. So we've worked out this bottom number. So we can now say that k is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.42. And if you work that out, that's equal to 2.83. And remember, we do everything to two decimal places. You don't need to write this in your exam, this end bit. I'm just showing that to you now. But in economics, we generally work things out to two decimal places. And then we can use this to find out what the final effect is on the economy of this investment of £200. So we know that £200 went into the economy. We want to know what's the final impact on the national income. So we have to do the 200 multiplied by the multiplier, 2.83, and our answer 
is £476. So that's the final impact on the national income. The final one, example three, this is telling us that the marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.6. And also we're going to imagine here that we have exports of £300. So that's an injection into the economy of £300. So the first thing, we know that the multiplier is 1 over the marginal propensity to withdraw. So we can also express this as 1 over 1 minus the marginal propensity to consume. This is how we're going to work out what the marginal propensity to consume, marginal propensity to withdraw is. Because we know that if we add together the marginal propensity to consume and the marginal propensity to withdraw, we get 1. So the marginal propensity to withdraw must be 1, take away the marginal propensity to consume. And if you do that, we're going to end up with 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.6. And when you've worked that out, you'll see that that's 1 over 0 0.4. Because 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4. And then the answer is 2.5. So that's the multiplier here. Then we know we've had this injection of 300 pounds. We want to know the final impact on the national income. So £300 was injected when we exported this £300 worth of products. So £300 is the injection. The multiplier is 2.5 and 300 multiplied by 2.5 is £750. So in each case, we can see what our multiplier is and we can see what the final impact on national income is. At the bottom here, our multiplier was this, our final impact was this. In this one, the multiplier was this, the final impact was this. So I suggest now that you go through again and check your answers and double check that you know how to work these out.